fucking damn it, why can't he hold his butt fucking line? Oh, come on, Justin. Don't tell me I saw what I just saw. That's right, Chief. It's been fucking trashed. Junked. So much for qualifying in second place. Focus. Do I have to remind you what's at stake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wouldn't fucking shut up about- This team is out of money. You have to win the race later today or our sponsors are gone and we're under. Packed up by tomorrow morning. All done. It's over. You better pull something out of your sleeves in about three hours time that is assuming we get this thing fixed at all. I am aware. Just make sure that you're okay and get your ass back to this garage. We've got a long day ahead. Welcome one, welcome all to the 2022 Champ Car Grand Prix of Pittsburgh. I'm here with my partner, Stefan Parrott, and together we will bring you through an absolutely riveting 60 laps of racing. We've got 22 hungry drivers like Pulsar to Bill Powell. He's been the favorite all weekend. Justin Watkins in Dragon Racing had qualified in second place, but a scary crash in warm-ups has meant that he missed his technical inspection because his car had not yet been fully repaired. No word yet on if he's going to even make it to the grid, but if he does, he'll have to start in deadline last. That's all well and dandy, but now let's head to the real headline for today, the track. This is a completely brand new 3.78 mile 9 turn figure of 8 street circuit that cuts right through the Oakland neighborhood of Pittsburgh, USA, here in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Another thing that it cuts right through is the campus of the University of Pittsburgh. Expect to see a lot of important pit stops today. This place is wickedly fast, so get ready for bold overtakes and leapfrog style slipstreaming. Dare I call it ahead of time and say that this will be a pack race? The only way to find out is to stick around. That was close. Nice start. Way to keep it clean. Damn right. Close, but good enough. Let's keep this up, but stay careful. Roger that. I'll be on my toes. is open and it's time for a new stint. Make her quick, boys. And in he comes, ladies and gentlemen, keep your eye on this man. See if we can go off strategy by pitting early. Box this lap. Roger, coming in now. Great job working up to fourth place, but we're going to need some help. There's only nine laps to go and we're about ten seconds behind the leaders, so our only hope is for caution to come out and help us. <laughs> caution out, caution out, holy crap. Bad crash on the bridge. Slow her down nice and easy. Fuel mix zero. Oh god, this sounds scary. L l let me know once, ev once everyone's okay, okay? Yeah, well, there's our caution. <laughs> I think we'll get restarted, assuming everyone's good. I'll keep you posted. Good day, one and all, and welcome back to the Grand Prix of Pittsburgh, where I have some fantastic news for all of us. 
All drivers involved in that scary incident along the Birmingham Bridge on Lap 49 are all okay. They are all responsive and the debris has been cleared, so we are ready to go racing. Great news. All of the drivers are responsive with no apparent injuries. Lights are out on the pace car, so it'll be pulling in at the end of this lap for the restart. You'll be restarting fourth, and by the time we get to the line, there will be four laps to go. I don't have to remind you what's at stake. Engine mix seven. Justin goes sideways. He hangs on, but it looks like there might have been some overreaction behind him. This is a four-car breakaway, but Bill Powell still leads. Can any of these three take him down? Two laps to go. And here comes Justin Watkins from the absolute back of the pack. Three Why can you believe this? Final lap, this is it. Powell is still a little out in front, so just focus on using the draft to get caught up before the end. Then you can make the move there. Three corners coming up and then a long straight. You've got to make sure you get a run at the exit to save the team. Ah, come on! It's maximum attack for Justin Watkins. He's gaining on Powell coming to the line. Hey man, that was the best race I've ever seen. The best drive, the best racecraft, all incredible. I appreciate that the team means so much to you, but just know that once it's all calmed down, you should be mighty proud of what you just did. It's, it's over for you guys, isn't it? I'm afraid so.